Hi, this is Ginger from my sister Scrapper. I'm doing a tutorial today for the Graphic 45 blog. Today I'm going to show you how I created these little waterfall folios. Um, and this one is the By the Sea waterfall, waterfall folio. And this one is the Good Old Sport. So what you're going to need to create this is your paper trimmer, obviously, and some adhesive. Um, a really good uh, score tape or double-sided tape um, that's really super strong. I like to use score tape. Some scissors. And a bone folder and a ruler, as well as a scoring board. And for the tutorial, I'm going to use some papers from the Graphic 45 Botanical Tea paper collection. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to need a sheet of 12 by 12 uh, medium weight chipboard. And I went ahead and got mine pre-cut just to save some time, but the, you're going to need three pieces. And you can get it all out of one 12 by 12 sheet of paper. You're going to cut your chipboard to four and a half by eight and a half, and you're going to need two of those. That's the front and the back. And then for your spine piece, it's going to be three quarters of an inch by eight and a half. So that's your chipboard. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and decide what paper you want for your outside cover. I'm going to use the um, green polka dot is what I'm going to use. And we want to trim our paper down to ten and a half inches by 12. Okay, so the, then what we're going to do is we're going to take our 10 and a half by 12 and we're going to score it one inch along the top and the side and that just makes it easy to wrap our chipboard so it um, folds over really nice. So go ahead and lay it in your scoreboard And you've got 12 inches across here, and we're going to go ahead and score at one inch this way. And then we're going to rotate it and score it one inch this way. And then one more time, and we're going to score it one inch. Okay. So what that does is just gives us a guideline so we can line up our chipboard and make it keep it straight. So then the next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and put the side that you want showing, you're going to put that face down and then you're going to take your chipboard and you're going to go ahead and put um, either a wet glue or score tape or whatever your favorite adhes adhesive is on, on one side of your cover and one side of your spine and one side of your back cover. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So what I like to do is go ahead and put score tape around the perimeter of my chipboard and then I fill in the center with my ATG gun. So then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and take your first piece of chipboard and line up this corner here with your corner that you of your score line. So line it right up here and right at the top. Press it down. Then you're going to take your back cover and do the same thing. Peel off the backing and then go ahead and add the rest of your adhesive. Then you're going to go ahead and put the back cover just like we did um, the front, you're going to line it right up here with your score line, top and bottom, and press it down. And then the only one we have left is our spine piece, and that's going to go in the center. And you want to go ahead and center that in between your two pieces so that way you have um, a space.
Then what I like to do is go ahead and burnish my tape. Okay, so now that we have that, what we're gonna do is go ahead and fold on our score lines. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap our chipboard. And what I like to do is miter my corners and just trim them off at a 45 degree angle. That just keeps the bulk out of here. So um, you can go ahead and take a pencil if you want. You can draw a line or you can just wing it. <laughs> and I like to leave at least an eighth of an inch because that's about the width of our chipboard here. So I'm just gonna draw a line across there like that. Do that to all four corners. Okay, so then before I trim my corners off, I like to go ahead and put my score tape on because it's easier to put it when it's straight than at an angle. So we're gonna go ahead and do the perimeter of your four sides of your paper and then as well as the four sides of your chipboard piece. Okay, and again, the, end, the key to score tape or any double-sided tape is you need to make sure you burnish it really well so it makes the back you come off and it makes sure you get it stuck down really well. Okay, next you're gonna go ahead and trim off your corners. I'm gonna take my scissors and just trim off along my pencil line there. Okay, so I like to start at the top and just Fold the top first and then the bottom and then we'll do our corners. So take the backing off your tape here and here and go ahead and fold that down. Okay. And then I'm going to flip it around and do the bottom. Okay, so now what we're going to do for our corners is we're going to take our bone folder and we're just going to go ahead and fold those edges in just like this. And then go ahead and take the back off here. And go ahead and press that down. And do the same thing to the other side. Go ahead and take your bone folder and fold your corners in. And if you got you didn't cut them short enough, you can go ahead and just trim a little more. But it's easier to trim because you can't add it back on. So there we go, that's our cover. And then we're gonna go ahead and just fold up at a 45 degree angle here and here. And then that's our front cover, super cute. So then we're gonna need to put a piece of paper here to cover this up and that piece, I decided I'm going to use this pretty floral here with the roses. And this piece of paper here measures eight and one eighth by nine and five eighths. And I went ahead and inked around my edges using uh, Tim Holtz frayed burlap. So go ahead and glue that piece down. And you can use your ATG gun, you can use your wet glue, whatever adhesive you like to use. I'm gonna just use my ATG gun for this. So once again, we're going to go ahead and center this. Oopsie. So we have an even space around the top and the bottom and the front. 
out right there. Okay. And again, go ahead and find your crease marks. So that's our book. Now we're going to go ahead and add our side pocket and our waterfall piece. So to create the waterfall what I like to do is I like to put a base piece down so that way I can um, make sure that I line all of my my flaps up evenly and it just helps me as a guide. So what you're going to do to create your base piece you're going to need a piece of solid cardstock, and I'm using um, Stampin' Up's Fairy Vanilla just because I think it matches really well with um, this paper line here. And the base is going to be seven and three quarters this way by four inches. And what I want to do is I want to do a decorative uh, corner punch, so I'm going to use my We Are Memory Keepers scallop punch, and it's the purple handled one. And I'm just going to do it to this bottom like this. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and glue this piece down right to this right side here. back in here and center that. There we go. That just works as a guide for when we go ahead and add our, um, our flaps. So for the flaps what you're going to need is you're going to need seven of these and they're cut at four inches by four and a half inches and on the four and a half inch side we're going to go ahead and score all seven of these at uh, four inches so get your scoring board out and again we've got seven pieces at four by four and a half and we're going to go ahead and put them in here on the four and a half inch side and score at four inches so go ahead and do that to all seven pieces So once you get those scored, go ahead and fold on your score lines. Okay, so we have all seven of our little flaps here. So we want to go ahead and do the decorative corner on the bottoms of all of our flaps to match our base piece. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so I went ahead and punched those. Now we're going to go ahead and add um, our score tape to our little half inch flap here in the folded position. So go ahead and get your score tape out. And you're going to go ahead and put it as close to the fold as you can, but don't go over your score line. Do that to all seven pieces. Okay, now that we have our score tape on all of our waterfall flaps, we're going to go ahead and attach them to our waterfall mechanism. So what I like to do is I like to start at the top. And again, we have our guide here, so we're just going to go ahead and fold this flap back and we're going to line it up with the top and the sides. And go ahead and stick the first one down.
Okay, so you want to make sure that you have it lined up, which click here. That we can fix it, I think. There we go. Okay, so once you get the first one on, then you're going to just go ahead and add the rest of them. You're going to line the folded piece up with the edge of your first flap that you had down there. So you're going to go ahead and take your next piece and just line it up like this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and just continue all the way down. Okay, so that's the last one. There's our waterfall piece. So then what you can do is you can cut you some design paper here to go on your flaps here. And um, again, you're gonna need 15 of these. And they're gonna measure three and three quarters by three and three quarters. And then you can go ahead and use a decorative edge to punch these, which I'm gonna use the green one this time, and I'm gonna use the ticket stub. But first I wanna figure out where I want them. <laughs> So I'm going to start. I have three different colors and I have five of each one. So I'll do the, I'll do the brown first. Yes, brown. And then I'll do the white. So I just like to lay them in here and see how they're going to look. And I'll just repeat that with the brown. And Just like that. So those I know are going to go right there. So I'm going to go ahead and use my corner round, my corner punch, my ticket stub, and do the bottoms of all of these. And then the opposite ones, because I have a verbiage and it's not an all over design, I need to make sure that I have the right one. So I want to do my corners here at the top. So it's not upside down because I've done that before. Okay, so I'm going to pull these all out and punch the bottom edges. And I went ahead again and inked all my edges already with braid burlap. So we're gonna go ahead and glue those down on the front and then we'll flip it up and we'll do the ones on the inside. So I'm just going to use my ATG gun for that. So there's the design paper on the front of our 
waterfall flaps. And then to cover up this little space here, I went ahead and cut some strips that are 3 eighths of an inch by 3 and 3 quarters. And um, so I can go ahead and put that on there just to decorate it a little bit more, finish it off a little bit. So now we're going to put the papers on the inside of our flaps. So I'm going to do pink. Now I'm going to go ahead and use, do my decorative edge, but this is going to go at the top of these papers. So again, I'm using the We Are Memory Keepers ticket stub, and I'm going to do the top. Now, same thing, we're going to go ahead and glue those to the back side of our flaps. Okay, so now we have all of our design papers on and now we're going to take those little strips and again these are 3 eighths of an inch wide or tall by 3 and 3 quarters. And I use the same color as my, um, my cover here. And you need seven of these. So there, our waterfall piece is finished. Now we're going to go ahead and work on the, this side, and for this we're going to make a little side pocket. And to create the side pocket, you're, again, you're going to need a piece of cardstock that is cut to five and a half by four and a half. And you're going to get your scoreboard out again, and on the and on the five and a half inch side, we're going to score five inches. And then over here, we're going to score at half an inch. Okay. So then to create the diagonal pocket like I did in the other ones is I went ahead and took my pencil and I left it in at the four and a half inch side. And you're going to measure over one and three quarter inches and put a little line and then rotate it again. And you're going to put another little line at three and a half inches. Okay, so then what you're going to do is put that in your cutter and you're going to draw cut diagonally from this tick mark to this tick mark. And you should have something that looks like this when you get finished. So go ahead and fold on your score lines. And we're going to go ahead and make this pocket. So I'm going to go ahead and cut an angle out of here so that way it kind of eliminates some of the bulk. And get your score tape out and go ahead and put your tape on both of your flaps. Okay. 
I need to make sure my flap doesn't show. I'm going to go ahead and angle those corners as well. Okay. So now to get my design paper, what I did was I cut a piece that was three and three quarters by four and three quarters, and then I lined it up here where I wanted. And then again, I just made my tick mark, and then I went ahead and traced, and then just cut it off diagonally. And that'll go right on there like that. So we're going to go ahead and put this on the side of our pocket, just like that. So go ahead and take the tape backing off. And go ahead and line that up. And I left a little border here, the top and the bottom. Okay. And then go ahead and press it down. And I left it open on this side here as well. This way your tags, you can have larger tags to go in there. So then go ahead and add your design paper on the top. like that. So there you go. That's our little waterfall folio. Then you just go ahead and decorate the front and you can make you some tags to put in here and then you can decorate your pocket if you want. There you go everybody. That's the little tutorial on how to create the waterfall folio. And I use the Graph 45 Botanical Tea. There you go everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.